Right now we're in a place that I'd honestly never expect to find in Tanzania. Welcome to Moshi, baby! The venture to explore the rest of Tanzania continues. We've had a beautiful five days in the Serengeti and now we're using Auric Air to fly back to Moshi. So let's go. So we just landed in Kilimanjaro Airport and I have to say that flight was one of the most scenic flights that I've ever been off. Some of the advantages of traveling with Auric Air. Jumbo, hello, morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Fine, So Moshi is the town that's closest to Mount Kilimanjaro and when you get here you'll find that a lot of travelers actually use this place as a hub before they start their climb. When we were checking in we saw so many people with their backpacks ready to start their climb. In fact, it's somewhere right over there but it's been covered by clouds. I, I would have climbed but you guys know how I am. I'm, I'm not fit, I'm not ready for that sort of commitment in my life. But for now, we're in this beautiful hotel room. Let me quickly give you guys a tour. This room is super spacious and you can feel that AC just hitting. It feels so good. Beautiful bed and then out here is the balcony with a, a view of the pool. And right over here is the lounge area. This here is the bathroom, extremely spacious. It looks so modern, I love this sink. And right over here is a cubicle. So, welcome guys to Killy Wonders. It's time to go and explore Moshi. Right now we're making our way to a place called Mutem... Mu? Materuni. Materuni Waterfalls and we're actually traveling in style in a land cruiser courtesy of a company called Zap Tours. Actually, it's it's a family-run business and so Rukaya is the one who is taking us. She's the one from the family who has decided to take the fall to take us. The place we are going to right now, it, the village over there is called Materuni. Uh -huh. So that's why the waterfall is also named after it, Materuni Waterfall. We've gone off the beaten path. We're now on the craziest and bumpiest dirt roads trying to make our way to this waterfall. <laughs> this place is so beautiful. So you have a lot of banana trees around us, so much greenery and apparently somewhere over there you can see Mount Kilimanjaro but unfortunately right now because of the clouds it's all being covered up but wow. Real quick guys, if you've ever wanted to take amazing photos just using your phone, well you're in luck because Phone Photography Secrets is going to be selling for 25% off from now all the way to the end of the year because Black Friday is coming early and along with that I'm going to be throwing in my editing presets for free. So 25% off on Phone Photography Secrets plus my presets. So not only are you going to be able to take epic photos when you pick up this guide but you're also going to be able to edit them to perfection. If you've ever wanted to take amazing photos during your vacation of your loved ones, of landscapes, of your pets, this book is going to be perfect for you. It's a very short read, gets rid of all the technical elements that you don't need to know and focuses solely on composition, lighting, all the cool fun stuff and gets you from zero to hero in just a matter of days. So make sure to take advantage of the 25% off plus my editing presets completely free. Follow the link below and let's go back into the video. Jambo Jambo. Abariako. I'm good. I'm Bonnie. Bonnie. You're most welcome to the Materuni. This view is unbelievable. This is the starting point of the hike. It's about a 30 minute hike all the way down, so shouldn't be too stressful, but the way it looks like already we're going down a very steep hill. We picked up a couple of friends along the way. Some local kids, they're joining us for the hike. Jumbo. Oh. <laughs> I'm just teasing him. <laughs> to the waterfall! <laughs> Add adventurous music over here because 
We are 1700 meters from the sea level. Wow. So we are higher. And here is the last village before Kilimanjaro National Park. It's funny because Kilimanjaro is just here and I expected that this place would be much colder than the other places we've visited here in Tanzania. But it turns out it's quite hot here. At the footsteps of Mount Kilimanjaro, still really hot. I hope we can see this. Oh my god! Whoa! A celebration. Wow. <laughs> the pony is really happy. Yeah. You made it. We made it. You guys, I can see it. I can hear it. This. Okay, hands down the best waterfall I've ever seen in my life. Whoa! So apparently all these rocks you can see behind me when it's the rainy season you don't you can't see those rocks all this is full of water and it's actually dangerous to pass this point because the water force is so much you can just be swept away and definitely that waterfall up there looks more magnificent than it already is but you know the thing is with travel you have to kind of pick your battles we we chose to come here more towards the summer season so that we could get the sun that we need we're going to the beach in a couple of days and you know you want the sun there so i mean i would pick a sunny season over a rainy season any day but i mean still wow i'm mind blown right now this feels like something out of an indiana jones movie it's so so beautiful you're surrounded by these cliffs you have a beautiful waterfall tall trees just covered in moss everything looks so ancient tanzania you are killing it with these views. Here we are at the base of the waterfall and the closer you get, the more magnificent it looks. <laughs> what the heck? This waterfall is 90 meters tall. Uh-huh. This is the most insane waterfall I've ever seen yeah. in my life. The best waterfall to, I've ever seen. And you know this is a dry season. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens when you try to be an Instagrammer. <laughs> oh, you wrecked your shoes. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the waterfall? Nimzuri. Nimzuri. Oh my god, the kids here are so friendly. <laughs> Behind the scenes of the vlog, I need to do this run up a full hill so that. I can get B-roll of the mountain with the red behind it. It looks so beautiful. Right over there, the beautiful Mount Kilimanjaro with the red sunset. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome guys to day two here in Moshi. Today's a little bit of a gloomy day, but the excursions with Zaf tours continues. And today we're heading to yet another special gem here in Moshi and it's called Chemka Hot Spring. <laughs> it's so cute. Just your average traffic in Moshi. Can we take this brown one? Hello! <laughs> Hello! It's so cute! <laughs> so just about 10 minutes ago we were driving through vast farmlands that were so green and now everything is just dried up, this dry grass around us and we're still surrounded by so many hills. Through a desert we've found the oasis which is Chemka Hot Springs and it's very interesting because like even you have uh, the mountains just next to us and you still have a desert in the area. You guys, no freaking way. This is like a swimming pool that's been built in nature, look at it. What? It kind of looks like a cenote. You have all these trees around us. The water is so clear. You can literally see every rock inside there. 
What? Dude, it's warm. So this water actually comes out from the ground. There's two caves over there, so naturally the water just comes out at this temperature. Okay. And then over there, when we go, um, there's one below. That one's really big. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You've not even worn a costume. Mama, it's your tanguka. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to try that. That is insane. Some of these guys, they get up onto like the highest branches up here and start jumping off. Yeah, like what? that branch up there, they'll go and they'll just jump in the water. Woo! <laughs> it's so nice and warm. So I can feel a bunch of fish just coming in, <laughs> tickling me, and they're actually eating the dead skin. This is like a natural spa right now. Oh. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> I'm like a buffet to all these fish. Whoa! <laughs> okay, get away. <laughs> when you look inside the water, it looks like you're in a new world. And the water is so blue. The further you see, it looks like a blue LED light just shining into the water. It's unreal. Then apparently this water comes from Mount Kilimanjaro, goes through a series of caves and just comes out right over here. So you can feel the current over here. It's such a strong current. That was so amazing. So right now we're having lunch. There's a couple of stalls here. Some people sell food, there's bars, and some people sell some souvenirs. So we have ordered some local dishes over here. So this here is chips mayai, and basically it's like a chips omelet. So they take a couple of eggs, they throw it in a pan, and then they add some chips into it. This is what you get. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. That's really creative. <laughs> and this here is Nyama Choma. So it's basically goat meat. You take it and dip it into some of this chili sauce. Oh, <laughs> you're right. That chili is so good. Mm. <laughs> That could have easily been the most fun that I've had this entire trip. Guys, I highly recommend Zaf tours and travels. They also do excursions uh, to Mount Kilimanjaro. So if you're in Moshi, then definitely make sure to check out Zaf's tour and travels. They made my travel in Moshi possible and I'm super grateful to them. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video to more people. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.